everyone and welcome back to the Beauty Breakdown. My name is Morgan and this is Skincare Shorts where I cover a skincare topic in three minutes or less. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the topic that I'm gonna be covering today are all of the abbreviations that surround sunscreen. I'm talking SPF, UVA, UVB, PPD, PA, all of the above. We're gonna discuss what they are and what each of them mean. So first let's go over SPF. Now SPF stands for Sun Protective Factor and essentially it's a measurement of how well your sunscreen is going to protect you from UVB sun rays. Naturally we assume that the higher the SPF the higher the protection but actually it stands for how long you can stand in the sun without your skin burning. So if you use an SPF of 15 it would take you 15 times longer to burn than if you didn't have any protection. Now there's a generally agreed upon idea of how much protection you get from an SPF. For example, SPF 15 usually offers you 93% protection from UVB rays, SPF 30 offers you 97% protection from UVB rays, and SPF 50 will protect you 98% from UVB rays. Now let's go over UVB and UVA. Both of these are invisible to the natural eye, but they are ultraviolet rays that are emitted from the sun. UVB rays are the rays that cause sunburns on the skin and they generally affect the epidermis of the skin most of the time which is the top layer of the skin. UVB is also the main cause for most forms of skin cancer which is why UVB rays can be so dangerous. Now UVA rays are just as damaging for the skin cells but just in a different way. Since UVA rays penetrate more deeply into the skin, they're what causes photo aging. So that equals darkening of the skin as well as wrinkles and aging. Now this is what brings me into PPD, PA, as well as also broad spectrum. Just like SPF would correlate to UVB, so would broad spectrum, PPD, and PA correlate to UVA. PA is typically the system that most Asian sunscreens use, and I will go ahead and put a diagram on screen so you can see kind of the determination of how much UVA protection you're getting. Now, PPD actually stands for persistent pigmentation darkening, so it actually determines how much your skin darkens, which is what UVA rays do to your skin, and they also have their own scale, and this is common commonly used in Europe as well as some Asian countries. Now broad spectrum is the term you will find when it comes to purchasing sunscreens that are US made. It is what the FDA has approved. Now all of these UVA protective measurements vary and have their own pros and cons and unfortunately these vary from country to country. Hopefully in the future we'll have a better common measurement as far as UVA protection goes but in the meantime that's kind of what we're working with. Now the main takeaway I want to make in this video is basically you need protection from both rays. So when you purchase a sunscreen, be sure to look for effective protection from both as well as apply your sunscreen liberally and often. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this skincare short and I enlightened you a little bit as to those abbreviations you might be seeing on your sunscreens and wondered what the heck do those mean? As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.